It appears that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. And as fire crews are descending on this area, it, it, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. Just I did not see a plane go in. That, that just exploded. We I, just saw another plane coming you, in from the side. You did. I did that was out of up Yes, and that's view. the second explosion. You could see the plane come in just from the right-hand side of the screen. So this looks like it is some sort of a concerted effort to attack the World Trade Center that is underway in downtown New York. Did you hear the explosion oh, from yes. your position? Yes, we did. As a matter of fact, we, we heard it and... and because I was just like standing there pretty much looking out the window. I didn't see what caused it or if there was an impact. So you have no idea right, right oh, now? Oh, there's another one. Another plane just hit. <gasps> right? Oh, my gosh. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Flew right into the middle of it. Explosion. My God, it's right in the middle of the building. This one into the east top. Yes. Yes. Right in the middle of the building. And right now... That, yes, that was definitely looked like it was on purpose. You saw a yes, plane? Yes, I just saw a plane go into the building. As you look at uh, the picture from our chopper now arriving at the scene, uh, Jim Friedel in Hoboken uh, said it appeared to back sharply and smash directly, perhaps purposefully, into, oh my goodness, oh God. there's another one. Oh. oh my goodness, there's another this one. It seems to be on purpose. Oh my goodness, another. now you... Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom is under attack from a series of deliberate, deadly terrorist acts. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads, friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil despicable acts of terror. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, huge, huge structures collapsing, have filled us with disbelief, terrible sadness, and a quiet, unyielding anger. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. America was targeted for attack because we're the brightest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world, and no one will keep that light from shining.
want you all to know, you can't go any louder. I want you all to know that America today, America today is on bended knee in prayer for the people whose lives were lost here, for the workers who work here, for the families who mourn. This nation stands with the good people of New York City and New Jersey and Connecticut as we mourn the loss of thousands of our citizens. I can hear you! <laughs> This is a day when all Americans from every walk of life unite in our resolve for justice and peace. America has stood down any enemies before, and we will do so this time. None of us will ever forget this day, yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. Thank you, good night, and God bless America.